Hi, welcome to the Andrew Buckle video tutorial on Illustrator. I'm using 221, same for 2020, 2019, etc. And I'm going to create a nice checkerboard design or brick fill design using a single shape. So let's just remove that. And I'm going to go for a square. Obviously I can vary it, but I will just quickly create the square first. And I'm just going to quickly create this now, just make that size there. But I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to set it to 29 and 29. This is in the properties panel, just makes it nice and easy, 29, 29. So that's 58, obviously times two. So what you can do then, you can go to effects. Oh, before I do that, window, appearance and properties. They're the key panels here. So appearance there and properties. So effect, distort and transform. So transform there. And what I want is one copy. That's the first thing I do. So first copy, one copy, and I'm just going to put in now 29 and 29. So it just shifts it across and then down. So it's exactly the same as what I've got over there, 29 and 29. It doesn't have to be, but it's just nice for just that uniform design at the start. Click OK. Now what I've done, I've created this. Now I can create another transform on top of that. So I'm just going to quickly go to Effect again and Distort and Transform. And it'll come up with this little panel and I'll just say click apply new effect and what I want there is now because it's 29 and 29 that's 58 combined what I want to do is enter 58 for the horizontal so 58 there but of course what I want is the number of copies so I'm going to go for uh, 20 copies say doesn't matter particularly what number but say 20 copies you can always vary it of course still editable at any point in the appearance panel Click OK. Now what I can do, I can I want to go downwards as well. I'm going to go and create another transform. So effect, distort and transform. And let's say apply new effect again. And this time, of course, what I want is the vertical. So I'm just going to enter again 58 because I want obviously the gap between 29 and 29, 58. And there's 58 there again. And again, what I want is number of copies. And I'm going to go for 20 to be consistent with the other one. And you can vary it again. So there you have it, very quick and easy design there. Well, what you can also do, you've got graphic styles, you can store this. So window and go for a graphic styles. Oh, there it is, it is stored there. So it's probably hidden away in one of these underneath things. This is always the way with a lot of these panels. Ah, oh, there's the graphic styles. You can always go to the right side and go to new graphic style. So new graphic style and just call it transform one. Whatever, something like that. Very original. So you've got a graphic style which you can apply to any shape. However, of course, what you can do, you can vary this. You don't obviously now it's going to, but you can see as you vary it, it will change like that. So you can just move the site, just, and you can move it around. Of course, you don't have to have that position. You can move it up there. You can also rotate it. So when you're doing that, you can see it rotates and they all rotate. So you can create all kinds of weird and wonderful designs. And also, of course, now what I can do, I can remove that and I can go up here and the ellipse, make it around about 29, 29, that sort of size. I'm not going to be exact. And you can go over to the graphic style and you can just quickly click here. So graphic style, just click there and you can see straight away you've got your design. And what you can do, you can just quickly resize that. And again, just move that around. And all the changes can be altered there. Now, what you can also do, of course, you can vary the transform. You can go over the transform and change them. Obviously, it won't change the graphic style. But you can go over to the appearance panel and you've got all these transforms. They can all be edited. So you can click on there, bring up the panel and you think, you know what? I don't want 20, I want 10. You can always quickly go in there and just change it. Just say 10 instead. I'm not going to do that, but I just want to point out you can change it. And of course, what you can do, I'm just going to remove that one now. Let's just create another one. So type, just word type, something very original. And what I can do, I can click on there. And you can see it's a bit slower because obviously type's a bit more complicated. And you can see it's just a bit slower, but you still, you can rotate it around. Or you can go for, let's just go for a like pen tool or curvature tool. So I just create a quick shape like that. And again, click there and you can see straight away you've got that design there and you can modify that. Or 
just go over let's just remove that the curvature tool it's another one you could use very quick and easy and create all kinds of different shapes with that selected just click there and you can see the design there so very quick but of course you could use this for other things as well don't have to just use it by 20 20 10 by 10 there's also other variations you could even add into the mix if you want to a very quick scale as well so you can always go over here to the transform now which one's which so you've got 29 let's look that copy there just go there say going across well, I'm assuming this is the way yeah, it's going across then you can also go for say 98 and 98 so you can just vary that as well 90 90 and you can create some interesting sort of variations of the design there and also you can of course add into the mix if you want to a nice bit of angle as well well hope you found this tutorial of interest always adding new tutorials about illustrator photoshop affinity photo affinity designer and all those also any questions any sort of issues anything i went too fast about didn't explain well enough please let me know in the comments also a dislike or like always appreciated thank you much